In this video, I'll be showcasing the ferric chloride pyridine reaction, highlighting the presence of a phenol in an unknown compound. To start off, I'll be preparing my positive control. I already have a test tube preloaded with phenol, a colorless liquid, to which I'm adding a sufficient amount of chloroform ranging from 2 to 5 milliliters, mainly to get the phenol into solution, followed by a few drops of the ferric chloride reagent. The general reaction behind this chemical test is the ferric chloride reacts with three phenol molecules as well as three pyridine molecules to yield the colored complex, usually blue in color when phenols are present, as you can see in the test tube right now. For my negative control, my test tube is preloaded with enough chloroform and I'm adding hexane as my organic compound, followed by ferric chloride and then a few drops of pyridine. As you can probably guess, no color change occurs whatsoever. I'm left with a pale yellow solution due to there being no phenol where the ferric chloride can react with. Moving on to my unknown compound, the same procedure as both positive and negative controls is done, and only my final result will tell me whether my compound contains a phenol or not. What's interesting about this reaction is the final result that is obtained varies between compounds with some being a blue color like the positive control you've just seen for the phenol compound and others ranging between violet, purple, green and even red-brown colored. It is important to note that there are some instances where compounds containing phenol groups give false negative results like picric acid for example, but this can be easily solved using another chemical test. After adding a few drops of pyridine to my solution, a dark blue color is noticed, same as that in the positive test, indicating I have a phenol group in my compound. 